Right, I'm back in Peckham. I haven't done one for a long while with video of this place. Um, well, my, I live around this, so it's quite, quite busy. I mean, today's Tuesday the 15th. It's going to be a bit of a lockdown by the look of it. You know, as the government said, we start tomorrow at 12 o'clock. So we're going into lockdown. Great stuff, eh? Not really. <laughs> anyway, you can see most of the shops are open. Keep the Christmas shop in the way. Nearly got run over. I'm in the bike lane. That wasn't clever. I don't know what the police are doing there. There's a new peck of mal there, look. They take away food. It's quite good. I had a millionaire the other day. Um, it's a Lebanese restaurant. Did a really nice kebab and um, rice. It's lovely, it was. What's the police doing here, look? People wearing their masks. Oh, I should be wearing mine. It's like the police have blocked the road off there. The road's been blocked off for um, a few months now. No buses or anything because they're doing works, road works. But, uh, as you can see, the police, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah, if you want to come down by bus, you can't. It'll take you right round. You'll miss all the high street. Primark's open, look. I don't think the main shops are going to be closed tomorrow. I think everything's going to be more or less the same, isn't it? So that's a nice butcher there, that one there. Got the market over there, look. Tiny market, fruit and veg. Yeah. Try and keep this away from. I don't know what you can see from here, look. <clears throat> Ryan Lane Market, that's a big old uh, market area. Goes right in. Quite good. From there, Ryan Lane Market. I think most of them are closed. Get your fruit and veg. Yams. Argos, they're still open. It's not a bad day actually, it's quite sunny. Considering it's uh, December the 15th. Need to get a haircut, it's getting long now. Long hair now. Santander's open. Sports Direct. Mobile phones. Donald, Ronalds. I've just been down for some training. I'm just gonna. I'm looking for a job again. I've been bored. I've been, been semi-retired since 2017. And I've been trying to do different things online, businesses, which I am doing. I'm learning, but. It's not making me enough money to survive, so I'm going to get myself a little job temporarily. So I've just been down to the, they call it a Thames Academy, to get some training. Help you with my CV and that. But, uh, so I don't really mind doing something. I've got, I think I've got a job interview tomorrow about this um, company. They're a green company. They deliver bikes. You know these electric bikes? You put them on the street. It's apparently you've got to go around. I've got, the job is you go around, collect the bikes, take them back, recharge them or change them over ones that are broken you take back to the office for recharge and you've got to drive an electric van and you've got to be able to drive the bikes as well which sounds like fun so they got in touch with me yesterday and said you want to come up tomorrow so hopefully I'm going to go up there tomorrow and see it's not great money it's only about £10 something an hour but I can do it part time or full time a semi-retired person so I deal quite fun it's interesting and um yeah hopefully I might get that be interesting if I do I mean, I'm only just literally sort of started looking about. Well, not even a week. Went onto that, went onto his job site, indeed, and that's, they just send you loads of stuff. It's really good. This here, this is new. All this here, look, this is all new in Peckham. Four, just they've got stalls and everything. We are trying to. Oh, what's in there? Let's have a look. Is it still open? Yeah, look. See, look at that. It's nice. Right, <laughs> this here is the picture house. I think you can go onto the roof. The nightclub up there. 
busy building. I don't know what's in there. It's like a night. I think it takes you up to a, a nightclub. Yeah, you know, look. Health, food, fitness. Yeah. And this bit here, I'll take you over here. Oh, all the e-scooters. There's a lot of people just doing that now because there's no traffic anymore. Down here, coming to the station, there's um quite a few sort of what I call bohemian restaurants or um, restaurants for the uh, the new wealthy that have moved in. There's a lot, there's a lot of people coming into this area. They've got plenty of money. Uh, they would have gone into Islington and Notting Hill. It's got all these little posh restaurants opening up. Larry's seems sort of out of place really in some places. Sort of. It's not, they're nice. If you've got the money, they're expensive. So you get that kind of mixture, don't you, of old and new and so it's, it's a melting pot peckham, that's for sure. Different cultures and everything. So we go this way. All new. This is a train station. Station. Actually I need to get a haircut. Coal rooms, that's um a new one that's opened up about a year ago. It's quite, I think the guy that runs that's quite well known. Coal rooms. Yeah. It's for your uh, young and trendy. Yeah, I like Coal rooms, that's it. Cool. Yeah. I think they'll be closed tomorrow, unfortunately. I think they're going to be able to stay open with this um, lockdown. What's their menu say? Oh, look at that. Tasting menu, 50 quid. Drink pair in 27. Bloody hell. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did have a coffee in there once, my sister and that. But, um, yeah, McDonald's. That's about out of my league at the moment. Nah, not really, I'm joking. What's happening with the trains? Let's have a look tomorrow, see what they're going to be doing for people. Da, da, da. I don't think we closed down or not. So no, he's closed, he's normally open him. Keep left. Oh sorry, I haven't got my mask on. Shit. Yeah. I've seen a scene of uh, the Sweeney. And uh it's one of the first ones they made. And they chase this bloke along the railway line. And he comes down here and what's his name? He pins him up against the wall there. Just there, John Thor and, um, um, what's his bloody name? His old mucker. He just pins him up against the wall here. He's got, oh, oh gotcha, fair nick. He ran along the railway top long and it hasn't changed at all. Still as rough. <laughs> probably rougher. I mean, people probably think, oh, I wouldn't want to walk around here at night, but it's actually not as bad as you think. It does scare me a little bit time at times. It used to be a lot rougher. If, you, if that's possible, it's not. Need support, yeah. There you go. So I live at the other end, but I'm not knocking Peckham. It's, it is what it is. Okay, signing off. Please subscribe. Click down on the right hand side there, there's a little button, it's got a little finger. Subscribe, there's going to be more different types of stuff. Okay, over and out, Matt. Have a good day. Bye now.